Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I want to make some Christmas ornaments and I have here the 3x3 mode from Modes and Shapes and the other, they are the Christmas boards, the stars and the bells. And I'm starting pouring my glitter and it's a Galaxy Silver um, Chameleon Flakes and it's from Etta Art and I just place it where I want to have it in my mold so you just see me placing just the silver glitter and it's a beautiful glitter it has this holographic effect it's very very beautiful so I place this at the stars now into the hangers and so I will do with the um, Christmas bolts and in the belts I just did it at the bottom where yeah how do you call this this round thing um, yeah in German it's a Schlegel but um, yeah I don't know I don't know um, the English word for it so anyway I'm using here the Mastercast resin. It's a high viscosity resin, a one-to-one -one resin, and it's optimal for the flowers or for blooms in any kind of shape. And um, I had a little bit struggles there because I had a cold day and I had many, many micro bubbles. So I didn't get rid of them. You will see it in the end result, but I think the pour is very beautiful anyway. So um, I'm placing my clear resin. I'm just showing you this and then off camera I'm just taking care that I, you know, take care of the bubbles which are trapped at the edges, at the tips of the stars, etc, etc. So this is now everything done and I can start pouring. I have here my white and I mixed my white with the pigment drops from Etta Art and I added a little bit of the interferon champagne to it. So I'm just going in, I don't know how you call it, in these lines. I really don't know how you call this. And this is going to be my pattern for the belts. And later also for the Christmas balls. So that's what I'm doing. And then I'm doing the Christmas balls. Because with the stars I want to go where the star shape is. And I want my cup to be more empty. Then it's easier to pour. So I'm just going along. And I think this is a beautiful Christmas design. I'm actually thinking now that I'm doing the voiceover that I should maybe do a pour like this and just leave it and see what the resin does. So maybe there's going to be also a beautiful uh, result of this. I have the big Christmas balls, so I guess I'm going to do this at some point. So anyway, now I'm busy with my stars and I'm going along in the star shape with my white so there was still a bubble um, trapped in the tip in the tip so I didn't see this before I'm just taking care of it and then I can continue pouring but there was still one that didn't want to go I don't know if you have also have this all the time that there's one bubble that just doesn't want to go away anyway I'm just pouring my star shape in with the white and now the last one and I need to admit I just adore Christmas pouring. Um, I'm a Christmas girly, I like Christmas, I like Christmas in all its shapes and colors and forms and yeah I just adore it. So here's my silver, I used the silver metal silver powder from Etta Art and I'm doing the same thing but just with the silver. So I'm going in these um, 
yeah, you cannot call it ziggy zaggy. It's just like from right to left, left to right. You know what I mean. So I'm doing this now with the boards as well. Just taking my time doing this. My video is a little bit faster than my real pour. So that's what I'm doing. And with the stars, I'm again going into the shape of the stars and doing this for all three. I haven't used this mold for a long time. I did already a pour for YouTube, but then by accident I deleted it because I needed space on my camera. So I was a little bit annoyed with myself. So I thought I need to do this pour again. So I wanted to show you what I'm doing. And yeah, so I did it now a second time. So I just took care of um, any bubbles on top and then I'm just taking the dotting tool and I'm starting with my stars. I'm just pulling from the inner tips, from the outside to the inside and make a little swirl in the center. And this is what I'm gonna do for all the three stars. Always like this um, sort of pour for the stars because it looks very delicate and very cute. The stars are not very big. I don't actually know how big they are, but they're not very big. And I think in those little molds, you can always achieve very beautiful effects. So, and now I'm busy with my belts and I'm just doing a one times world, just going up and down. Also here I'm taking my time and I'm just going up and down. And this is really something I should try maybe just to leave it, not to go up and down in the future, just to see what effect I can achieve with this, just going with my resin from left to right. But now I have done this. I'm doing the same for the Christmas balls. Just up and down, up and down. And the last one. So, and then I let it cure and whoops, <laughs> it's the next day. It's 24 hours later, I can demold. Actually, the Mastercast resin, you mostly can demote after 12 hours. It's all right, but I let it cure for a day. And you see how easy these ornaments pop out of the mold. I have this mold already, I guess, two years, three years. I'm not quite sure. I have it for quite a while. I did many, many pours in this mold and you see it's still from very good quality. So molds and shapes, they are just, yeah, the molds are awesome. Anyway, this is my bell. And I guess I'm going to show you all the bells. And I really love the result. There's still a little bit, yeah, resin that um, was at the side, which is connected, but you can easily break this off. And also here, I just love only using those two colors and then the highlight with the silver chameleon flakes. It's very beautiful. They really look very frosty, I think. And now the stars, and I'm quite curious. So let's have a look. Also this one, I really love a lot. This is a design I just adore, I love. And the next one, also very beautiful. They're rather the same, but I think with the last one I used at the top, you will see it a little bit too little white. So, well, this sometimes happens, but well, anyway, it's handmade. So, and there is the first Christmas ball and I also adore this one. 
It's a beautiful pattern. And the second one. Yeah, I also love the silver. It's very beautiful. And the last one. And there you go. So what I did off camera, I put some silver edging to all the ornaments. And you can see this now in the final result. It gives it really a lot more depth. That's what I'm thinking. I wonder what you are thinking. And look at these cuties. I really love them. So with this, I love and leave you like always. I thank you for watching and take care, guys. Bye bye.